I've got the perfect DIY project for a pint-sized cadet or recruit. For this fire truck, I'm starting from the ground up. These two blocks are going to be what holds the wheels in place. I'm just drilling a pilot hole to attach the wheels. Now, this step's important. You want to make sure that these holes are in exactly the same position on both blocks. Otherwise, we'll have a bit of a bumpy ride. Ha-ha, <laughs> smooth. That's the chassis done, and for the cabin and back of the truck, we're using plywood. Now, when you're working with thin timber like this plywood, it's 12 mil thick, it's good to remember to use thinner gauge screws. So I'm using a six gauge screw, which means there's less chance of the timber splitting. And there we have it. What is it? One door. One more to make. Up. And there it is. <laughs> and now that the front of the cab's together, I can screw it to the base. That works. Now I just need to make some steering. And now we're ready for some paint. Now, I'm not painting this fire truck grey. I'm just using a grey undercoat. That way, it gets a better cover for the red. And nothing says fire engine red better than the colour red clear. And for the handlebars, some flashing lights. All right, now it's not a fire truck unless we've got a ladder. So I'm going to be attaching one at the back here. And there you have it. I think this has turned out pretty well. It's a great little project you can try at home. Now there's only one thing left to do, and that's to get this thing on the road. Let's give it a go.